Is overthinking a problem for you? Yes. 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 The way I live my life is I just think YOLO. You know, I don't have to overthink anything. I just do it. My name is Sean Conrad. And like most people, when I don't know the answer to something, I turn to almighty Google. But sometimes even Google doesn't have the answers we seek. So now I'm asking the youth of New York City in hopes that they might have the answers to the world's most searched questions. This is Kids Give Advice. And this week, we're asking students one of the most searched questions on the internet, how to stop overthinking. What was the question again? I'm Just sorry. How to stop overthinking. Oh, sh this is, a, this is a hard question. Should we just talk or like? Yeah, just how to stop overthinking. The minute you like start fretting over it, just play some video games. Masks on though, all the time. You shouldn't be overthinking about that. I'm an overthinker myself. And sometimes you just gotta step away. That's what I do. You just, just need to please. sit down, take a deep breath, and just know that everything's gonna be okay. Focus more on the present. Um, how to stop overthinking. <laughs> yeah, usually I'll probably just like throw away my phone or something. For me, a lot of the reason I overthink is because of social anxiety and like wondering about if I'm doing the right thing or if I'm interacting the right way. After quarantine being locked in my house for months, I was forced to just deal with my brain every day. Literally. I couldn't go outside. Like, And plus you're like alone with your thoughts too, so it's like the only thing that you can think about. Can't do much. And you can't talk to other people because you know, you're like confined in a little space. Because there's more time on your hands. It's like, if I wasn't in COVID and doing the COVID things I do, I would be working two jobs and not really like thinking about anything that's bad. But since I have so much time on my hands, the slightest thing could be worse than my frets maybe six months ago. Literally anything that makes your mood better, anything that where you're taking care of yourself, that will help. Just like stimulating other parts of your mind, I guess. I started roller skating over quarantine. That's pretty <laughs> awesome. I have like a playlist of like 2008 like party music and I roller skate to that. That's awesome. That's pretty fun. For me, overthinking is about going through the process of worry and going through worry and understanding what you're worried about. And at some point, the answer comes becomes clear, but while you're going through the process of overthinking, it's incredibly scary. This is so weird, um, but scream into your pillow. <laughs> <laughs> but I love doing that, like scream. I think just dancing around, even like, I was gonna say in my own room, but like even outside, like, just not caring what the public thinks, just being who you are. And I got into tap dancing and playing guitar as well, so yep. just like doing my thing. I like to listen to music when I'm oh, thinking. Yeah. Like good vibes, playlists. Also, everyone's thinking about different things all the time, and sometimes it's nice to just talk to someone because they're thinking about something and you're thinking about something and at some point you guys will help each other. The way I live my life is I just think YOLO. You know, I don't have to overthink anything. I just do it. Just don't hesitate. Or just think like, you know, nothing really matters in a few years. It's like not really a big deal as much as you think it is. You have to like tell yourself that, you know. Or like like hanging out with your friends or something. Just like I try to distract myself. So friends, friends are a good, friends are a good resource. Friends help with your overthinking. Friends are good. I don't, I don't know, because I found better people for me and now I feel more at yeah. ease. That, yeah. So, but you think being with like better friends helps with overthinking? Oh, yeah. yeah. Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching this week's episode of Kids Give Advice. I've been your host, Sean Conrad, and I just want to give a special thanks to Goldera Serlas, our intern who helped edit this episode, as well as all of the wonderful people who shared their thoughts about overthinking. Uh, be sure to like this video and subscribe to Shine Global, and click that little bell icon so you can make sure to get notifications about new videos every week. All right, thank you so much for watching, everyone, and I will see you all next week.